Hello and welcome to this uh, playthrough video of the newest game from Buttonshy uh, Publishers, uh, Buttonshy Games. This is Food Chain Island, a Scott Olms solo game. Now you probably know, uh, you might know Scott Olms from uh, creating other games. Um, he best known for creating tiny games really, quite epic ones. Um, and you might find another one of his Kickstarters or one of his games on Kickstarter right now. Um, but this is a game, it's an 18 card uh, wallet game from Button Shy, um, designed by Scott Arms, um, also uh, illustrated uh, by Annie Wilkinson. Um, you can find her on Instagram, Annie Wilkinson underscore illustration. Um, because I, I say that because as you can see, the uh, illustrations are pretty amazing obviously this is the food chain obviously the animal kingdom food chain um is what it's all based on um so here we have our um our cards as with uh, all the button shy um wallet games it's 18 cards um, and we have uh, um 16 cards here that make up our island our animals on the island and we've got two uh water animal cards um there will also be an expansion for this game um, and the expansion will have uh, will have air animals um, so birds birds and such um, there are a couple of flying animals uh, well there's at least one flying animal in the, in this base set uh, the bat um, here now the idea is that um, each uh, you lay the cards out and on each card you have the beautiful illustration you also have a number here in the top corner this is the lynx and the lynx can only eat animals nine eight and seven um, and so we've got uh, animal eight there the raccoon um, can only eat the fox and the snakes are all those animals that are lower down the food chain than, than the lynx. Um, but also when the lynx eats, or when an animal eats one of these uh, cards, one of these other animals, um, you then have this kind of ability or this, this instruction you then have to follow. So then on the next turn, the animal must jump over one card in an orthological direction to eat, okay? Um, is a lot easier to explain uh, to do than to say that one so you've got all of these different things so the fox when the fox eats uh, eight seven or six then on your next turn the animal must move diagonally uh, one space to eat so usually uh, you just eat the card you can eat the card to the left right or top or bottom of the card that's there um, and the water animals are just kind of bonus cards that you can play at any time so the shark you can move an animal one space to eat but you can eat an animal of any smaller value so it doesn't have to be one of these ones down here so it could be any so the fox could then eat any animal that as long as it's lower than nine and then the whale um, you can move one animal to any other space okay um, so the way we set this up, uh, this isn't a, uh, this is obviously just one of the uh, rough print and play um, uh, in every button shy Kickstarter, there's um, a uh, kind of a testing p uh, uh, print and play file that you can use um, to make up your own game. So this is that. Um, so as you can see, obviously I've just printed it on cardstock. Um, just on my inkjet printer, so you'll have to bear with the the bad uh, the bad print quality. Um, and so to set up the game, you shuffle the cards. Maybe you shuffle them without looking at them. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, really. And then uh, so then you deal them out, and you make you form a grid, a four by four grid. Here. Well, this is the the kind of the standard rules, as it were. Um, this again, this is just 
mock-up uh, instructions but you can see here for further challenges you could uh, create different types of uh, um, setups there um, so the idea of the game is to end up with as few uh, animals on the island as possible um, and there are so the only levels really for this um, it's not really a beat your score it's just a, a kind of a um, bit of a puzzle to solve really uh, so you they've come up with three win conditions so a great win is if you only have one animal um, or one stack of animals left at the end a, uh, a good win is if you have two animals remaining and uh, if you have three animals remaining you just scrape by so if you have more than three animals remaining then uh, you uh, you lose okay and so you, you lay it up in this grid now um, the animals move within this grid this four by four grid but there is an additional imaginary grid that goes around the edge if you so require it there are um, there are a couple of cards so this one so if you eat with the rat so if the rat eats a four three or a two then the action you then must take is to move one animal two spaces but for example if I only had one space here I can't move this polar bear two spaces or any of these so you are allowed to move outside of the grid just one space now that's generally disadvantage or not an advantage uh, to do that really because you want to keep everything kind of maybe work from the middle going inwards and so on so um, you need to be kind of planning your moves so if I move that one there then that means of what does the action there that's going to mean I'm going to have to know my next move so what could my next move be and all of that sort of thing okay so that's what it is that's the kind of the um, the element of it is very kind of uh, quite thinky but it's a pretty uh, as you can see pretty quick to set up um, and it's not and it's not hard to play you can um, you can just play as and because it's so quick to set up if you if you made a few bad moves you can just uh, kind of pull them all back together reshuffle them deal them back out and have another go okay um, so straight away I can see here so I've got some good groupings here and this you saw I shuffled so the plant is obviously the bottom of the food chain uh, the zero and has no ability and um, then you've got the ant here and they've ne ended up the ant can only eat the plant okay so um, so you could go there for example and that means it's eating it and then this then this little stack then moves as though it's one animal okay so then if the mouse then came and ate the ant then they all move together okay now this is going to be tricky so uh, but the mouse can also eat but if the mouse was to eat the plant then the ant can't eat anything because the ant can only eat the plant okay so you do have to be careful that you don't block yourself on some of these moves um, also things like the polar bear which in this game is at the top of the food chain and um, his special ability or their special ability is on the next turn you cannot use a polar bear to eat so if you use the polar bear to eat you can't then keep chaining and going and going and going okay so let's have a look at this so I'm gonna have to just as I've not um, I've just uh, set this up haven't stacked the deck or anything um, if you see my videos you know that I do that I don't fix a deck so I'm gonna just have a look around so obviously these guys can all eat, eat each other uh, even the lizard can actually eat the ant as well um, back and eat the rats there polar bear lynx is next to there 
fox is next to the snake, raccoon is next to the snake, yeah. Uh, the gator, 12, 11s or 10s. Oh yeah, it's nearer 12. The tiger, 11, 10s or 9s, no. So the tiger's not next to anything it can eat at the minute. Um, and the spider's a bit out here on its own as well. The only thing is it can eat the spider. Well, the mouse can eat the spider. The lizard is all the way over here. Um, and the rat can eat the spider as well. And what's gonna be my first move here, what do I think? Um, the, uh, hmm. So some of them, you don't want to eat them because their abilities are really good. Um, so this is this is a really good one. So um, uh, on your next turn, if the raccoon eats, uh, if you eat an animal valued exactly one below, then you can discard an unstacked animal of your choice. So if I was to move him there, or the raccoon over there, then I, any of these others that I think might cause me a problem, I could just discard. Okay, and then that's obviously one uh, away, one more to my, uh, to my winning goal and my win condition. Okay, so that's a good one. Um, but I could kind of leave that in reserve because then the fox could come over there or the lynx, get the fox. Can the lynx still get the raccoon? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Gator, on your next turn. So the gator could eat the tiger. On your next turn, you move an eaten animal into the predator space and place it in the bottom of the stack. So instead of the gator, if the gator was to eat the tiger, you actually bring them back here. So you actually put the tiger underneath the gator. So the gator, when he eats, he doesn't actually move. Um, so that could open up a space there, you see. Because um, I'm going to need... So I want the ant over here, and then I'd really... I could have the mouse. Turn the animal must move diagonally to eat. The lynx on your next turn, the animal must jump over one card. So what that means is you can on the net you'd have to jump over a card either that way or that way, for example, or above. You can't jump over a card to eat kind of on the diagonal. So that's uh, orthogonal. Uh, orthogonal direction just means in a straight line from going down. Um, so let's get on with it. Um, can get fairly close to kind of analysis paralysis in this. Um, ah, that could. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, because then if I do that, then I could move the mouse, could eat that ant. Okay, and then the mouse then I have to move one animal two spaces. That's a bit of a pain now. Um, what else could happen in that? I could move the polar bear to eat the gator. Only after that. So let's let's get the gator to eat the tiger, and then on your next oh, on your next turn you move the eaten animal into the predator space, place it back at the bottom of the stack. Ah, no, okay. Um, Maybe not that one yet. 
I was wondering about then bringing that. Let's just go for it, okay? Let's just yeah, we'll give it a start, giving it a go. So then if I could put that one under here, and then move one animal one space, one move one animal one to three spaces. Um, but then if that has to jump over one card, that'd be empty, wouldn't it? Uh, I could bring this down because if that goes over there then it's kind of out of the way although he can then move that back and then move wherever they want um, so it's going to be one it eats an animal exactly one below and then move uh, after the bat eats, move it to any other space so it can't stay where it was. Okay, is effectively what we're saying there. So I can move him, uh, move them over there. Okay. Um, now on your next turn, move an animal must move diagonally one space to eat. could get the mouse to eat that spider if I bring the fox down to eat the bat ah then I can move the lynx to move the be eat the fox and then I have to can jump over oh I could do it there and then yeah, let's do that. So, Fox is then going to eat the bat because he can. Uh, on your next turn, the animal must move diagonally to eat. Okay. So, if the lynx. comes to here. And on your next turn, the animal must jump over one card in an orthogonal direction to eat. So my mouse is gonna eat the ant. So it's jumped over now. The mouse is move one animal one to two spaces. Um, now I need, let's bring the wolf here because then what I then can do is I can move the mouse can eat the plant again and then another one has to move and then I can use the lynx to eat the raccoon which means I then have to jump over and then something has to move too so then I could bring the lizard down you know, I could have the links, yeah. So, got a bit of a plan going on here. So, um, so move the wolf one to two spaces. So, I move them one space there, okay. And then I'm going to use the mouse to eat the plant here, okay. And then, then if need move something else, move the spider down, okay. And then I'm going to use the lynx to eat the raccoon. That's a good. It's a good uh, ability like that. So then you must next to an animal must jump over one card. So the mouse can now eat the spider. And the mouse is basically eating all it can eat now. And now I need to move one animal one to two spaces. So I'm going to move my lizard one, two. Okay. Um, and then there's the wolf. The gator can eat the wolf. Um, 
So then again, the lynx is going to eat the snake. Okay, which means my lizard then can jump over and eat the mouse. Okay, so we're a bit stuck here. Well, I can make that move to there. Can that can eat that. But remember, I've got to move one animal to any other space. Move one animal to a space to eat, but you can eat any animal of any smaller value. Um, so I could use that. Gator can still eat the lynx. So what we're going to do here is going to say the gator. On your next turn, you move the eaten animal to the predator's space and place it beneath the bottom stack. So the gator is going to eat the wolf. And then going to place, play the shark. Remember, uh, move an animal one space to eat but it can uh, eat an animal of any smaller value. So I'm using the shark. So remember, this is coming under here because the next time it eats, it has to come under. Okay. Now. I think I'm gonna struggle here. Going to end up with two stacks here, I think. So I'm going to use my whale to move one animal to any other space. So I'm going to come up here. So then polar bear is going to eat the lion, and on your next turn, you cannot use the polar bear to eat. My gator is going to eat my lynx. And these two are too far away that they can't eat each other. Or oh, the polar bear could eat the gator if they were closer together. So there we go. That's the uh, that's the game, Food Chain Island. Um, as you can see, pretty quick, pretty uh, easy to set up. You know, I could just. And shuffle them all up and have another game straight away um, nice kind of planning ahead and that sort of stuff so hope you enjoyed that video um, any questions you can put them in the comments or uh, head over to the Buttonshy discord server where uh, um, Scott Holmes is even part of that server so you may even be able to get Scott to answer your questions if you have them but that's Food, Ch Food Chain Island by uh, Buttonshy Games um, Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll speak to see you soon. Bye.